Hello folks, Aaron here from Bean Sprout. I'm here today to talk about Banjo Woods. Um, some of you may be thinking of ordering from me. Some of you may already have ordered and need to pick what wood. Um, some of you are just into this stuff. So I'll talk about what's available right now for spring of 2022 and what I'm into and uh, we'll go from there. So to begin with, um, all my instruments, even with using different woods, they all sound pretty similar to each other. So if you like what I do, um, then you're not gonna go wrong with what wood you pick. Um, if this is the spectrum of banjo sound and my instruments fit into this part of the spectrum, my woods will make this much difference. So it's like spices on a dish. Um, you've already picked your dish, you're here, so we just gotta pick the right flavorings. So um, the instruments are typically made of a hardwood. Um, I've found that almost any hardwood works. They just have a slightly different uh, flavor to them. The traditional, oh, sorry. Uh, the rims are made up in a block rim style. So I stack up layers of wood like this and then I turn it on the lathe until it's round. And I, I prefer those for sound and for looks and for um, economics of, of wood sourcing. And uh, then the necks generally match that. So I like to pick a wood that matches. Um, a lot of my woods have like a, a curly or a figured or an upgraded version. The fancier looking versions don't sound better, they just look cooler and they might be from a rare board with a certain rare figure to it. So, in general, banjos traditionally are made of maple. So like, this is my main five string, just simple maple. And uh, that is, if you are a banjo traditionalist, maple is your wood. It's got that blonde color, although it can be stained. Um, also, it's really easy for me to find really good curly and figured maple. Um, and I've got enough maple that I've been making my kitchen out of it. So maple is your first good choice. That's the traditional one. Um, second is walnut. Walnut is probably my most popular wood at the moment. And it grows here in Oregon and I have very good local sources from it. Uh, this is what I would call regular walnut. This is called curly or figured walnut. See, it's got different colors in it and it's got those wavy lines. It's a lot harder for me to find the curly. And I happen to have the two neck blanks that go along with those two instruments. So there's the traditional walnut, still quite beautiful and sounds good. There's the figured. So, uh, the third wood that's traditional is cherry. And I love cherry because it's a little lighter weight and it's plenty loud and it's got a sweetness to it but it's got a growl to it as well. I really like the texture of it. And I have some very, very nice um, curly cherry rims and neck blanks that I've been working through that I got from a retired builder. So for a limited time, I still have a few more of those, I think four more curly cherry ones that are just beautiful. They're my favorite recently. Although I have troubles saying my favorites because then you guys think I don't like the other things. <laughs> I like them all. Um, so for slightly less traditional woods, um, I really like using oak. This particular one is some red oak that I also put a little dark stain into. Um, oak is a traditional instrument wood, it's just not been used recently as much. And here in Oregon, I have access to a really nice Oregon white oak, or called Gary Oak. And I even have a bunch of oak, Cortison oak wine barrels. So this one in particular is from wine barrels, and you can even see it's got the pegs and the nail holes and stuff from when it was a barrel in it. And I think oak uh, sounds really good. It's got a little bit of a dusty, dry, old-timey sound, which I really like. And this oak instrument has been my main banjo ukulele recently. Um, and then finally, announcing now in 2022, I'm going to start making um, banjos from koa. So I have a sort, uh, uh, recently got a big stack of koa wood that's not perfectly sawn for ukuleles, but so it's um, sawn in the other direction, which makes it ideal for laminating up for banjos. So this is the first one I've done. And koa is from Hawaii. It's a traditional ukulele wood. And at least for a limited time, as long as I can still find koa like this, um, I'm going to keep doing it because it's lightweight, it's sweet, and uh, it's just got a, that golden glow that people love from Koa. Um, so, yeah, those are your choices. Maple, walnut, cherry, oak, Koa. They all sound great, they all sound loud. Uh, probably walnut's got the darkest tone, and uh, maple's got the brightest tone. The other ones sit in the middle. Cherry, cherry's sweet with a growl. Oak's got that dusty old feeling. Koa's the lightest weight and probably the most ukulele-like. So, 
that's what I got for 2022. Um, drop me a line if you have any questions, and uh, happy banjoing. Thanks. Thanks.